Celeste and Jess seem like the perfect couple. They are best friends. They understand each other without words. They have so much fun together. They never argue. It comes as a shock to learn that these two are actually separated and about to get divorced after six years of being married. You guys have been separated for six months. You're getting divorced, and you spend every day together, hanging out as if like it's no big deal. Celeste is the initiator of their breakup. Throughout their whole marriage, she was the breadwinner, waiting for her husband to change his lifestyle and start contributing to their family budget. But Jesse seemed to be too comfortable being an unemployed artist. To be honest, I'm not really dying to work there.、Mm, doesn't really seem like you're dying to work at all. I'm putting. One day, Celeste makes a difficult decision to end their relationship. She wants children, and she knows that Jesse isn't ready for this next step. He doesn't have a job, and he isn't even looking for one. The father of my children will have a car. He is too immature to carry the weight of responsibility of being a dad. He doesn't even know what the word responsibility means. All thanks to Celeste paying all the bills and solving all the problems. You're not working. You're watching the Beijing Olympics again. Hey, did you finish that artwork for the pop form website yet? All he ever did for work were some tasks Celeste asked him to do, but he never managed to complete them in time. Jesse doesn't want to leave Celeste and doesn't take her decision seriously. He doesn't even move out. He lives nearby in the guest house. He's confident that Celeste is going to change her mind, and they're going to get back together. He doesn't realize that their relationship is really at risk. Because they probably argued a lot about this very issue in the past, and made up every time. Jesse thinks that this is just another fight, so his wife's intention to break up doesn't motivate him to change his lifestyle and at least try to win her back. I think she's just overwhelmed and confused right now, but I think she's gonna come around. Being so used to shifting all responsibility to Celeste. He just waits for her to come back, which says a lot about his role in their marriage. He takes Celeste for granted. Why do anything? Why worry about the future if she takes care of everything? However, this time Celeste seems to be firm on her decision. Well, she was at first. She had a plan in her mind. The rational part of her came up with this plan, and Celeste was supposed to stick to it. But something went wrong. Of course. Being away from her husband for just a few days while on a business trip, she realizes how much he means to her, and she's ready to accept him back into her life. As a rule, it's a lot more difficult for women to move on after a breakup, even if they were the initiator. Over the years, Celeste got so attached to Jesse that she struggles to let him go, despite what her mind is telling her. Little did she know that Jesse's life changed completely while she was away. Turns out that a few months ago he had a one-night stand with some girl he barely knew, and she fell pregnant. I really want to make it work with her. Suddenly, Jesse feels he needs to make things right, become a responsible person, be a real dad to this child, and build a relationship with the girl he didn't even call back after their first date. She was cool, but she's not Celeste. And just like that. Celeste becomes his past. He wants to divorce her as soon as possible so that he can marry Veronica and help her stay in the USA because she's not a resident. He becomes a vegan, starts working out, his art gets noticed. These changes would have made Celeste ecstatic had they occurred when they were still together. Yeah, breaking up with me was the best thing he ever did. I should break up with me.、Oh. Sadly, it's another woman who gets the improved version of Jesse. Veronica says all the right things. She's encouraging him to continue creating his art. Well, don't give it up because it's really unique and beautiful. 
She's confident he's going to be a great dad. You're gonna be a really good dad. I just know it. And the future looks so bright for Jesse and his accidental family. He's ready to give up his old life, his beloved wife, the special connection they have with Celeste. All those years spent together with her don't seem to matter to him anymore. All because he wants to do the right thing. Now, with Veronica, he feels needed, wanted, respected. Veronica always looks at him with respect and interest in her eyes, while Celeste looked down on him as if he's smaller than her, less significant, and she's the queen. Does it have something to do with the work that you owe me that's late that we were just talking about? Or You gotta crawl before you walk, you know? In these scenes, it's like she's his mom and he's her lazy teenage son who has no motivation to do his homework. Veronica doesn't put herself above Jesse, or anyone else for that matter, unlike Celeste who, despite the fact that she's already an accomplished woman, needs constant validation of her success. <gasps> there, you can't do that. Yes, I can. Hey, employee picks. Congrats, that's awesome. She's casually arrogant with people. I guess you're just not a match for me, so. I think it's my new skin regime. Oh. Yeah. It's a, it's regimen. Even her business partner and friend. I mean, what do you think? Well, to be honest. Oh my God, we're signing Riley Banks with the. Even though Veronica is a complete stranger for Jesse, she manages to turn him into a completely different person. She sees him with completely different eyes. Suddenly, it's Jesse who is admired. It feels foreign to him, but he enjoys this feeling. And it's true that he hasn't yet really earned the trust and respect he's already getting from Veronica, but he's already making baby steps to prove he is worthy of all that. Why did you change for me? I don't think you really wanted me to. Perhaps all he needed was someone to believe in him. Even though this whole rushed marriage does seem sketchy and it's hard to believe Veronica is 100% genuine, still it feels right to him because he can start all over, become the man Veronica sees when she's looking at him. Their relationship is so different from what he had with Celeste. With Veronica, he doesn't feel like a lazy teenage boy anymore, he feels like a man. Deep down, he knows that he's not that man yet, but he wants to become one. He's enjoying his newfound freedom. He feels free from his old life, and that's enough engine for him, at least for now. It's ironic that his newfound freedom is everything he used to avoid in the past, which is taking responsibility. Celeste initiated the breakup. She wanted to move on with her life without Jesse, but all these changes in him that she's seeing make her angry, bitter and sad. Now it's her who takes her time with the divorce papers. Uh-huh. I've been busy with work because some of us work for a living, so I'm sorry I haven't had time to focus on helping you get on with your new life. She makes fun of Jesse's new lifestyle. You're ridiculous. This place is ridiculous. Fucking gosh, you vegan cow bullshit. Looks for flaws in his new girlfriend. She's dumb, right? Makes sad predictions about his future. And now I have a real chance of being happy. I don't want to blow that. Well, you know what, Jesse? You definitely will blow it. All in hopes that it would calm her down and make her feel better about herself, her decisions, her life. But it's not working. All those years she wanted to see all these changes in Jesse, and now another woman came into the picture, inspired him to change, and she's the one who gets him. Even though the changes in Jesse's life mostly influenced him in a positive way, what they also did 
was proved that Jesse doesn't choose anything. He lives most of his life on autopilot and just finds himself in new circumstances from time to time, awakes from his sleep and realizes he needs to play his part. And luckily he met Veronica who wasn't shy to tell him what he needs to do and he was grateful to her for doing that. It is easier for him to follow someone's instructions because when he had the freedom to do whatever he wanted, he ended up doing nothing, unable to organize himself and actually do the work. When he finds out he's going to be a dad, he summons the courage to take responsibility for his reckless actions and it's the first step on his journey of growing into the leader in his new relationship. After all, I think that Celeste made the right choice to break up with him. Had they gotten back together at some point, they would have inevitably come across the same old problems again. Unfortunately, neither of them was able to realize their respectful flaws while they were still together. Being away from each other helped them see what they did wrong. They both failed this marriage. Nailed that divorce. As always, there isn't just one person who was wrong. It takes two to go from a wedding to a divorce. They both had their secondary benefits from their roles in their relationship. Jesse was comfortable in his role of a struggling artist, having every aspect of his life taken care of by Celeste. He got used to living this careless life and became unable to change. To even want change. Only when faced with a life-changing event, he managed to transform himself as a person. Celeste was so focused on herself and her success that she unconsciously chose a husband who would never outshine her, who would praise her and admire her, who would always seem smaller in her company. She needed time alone to process their relationship and their breakup. Her new boyfriend seems to be a better option for her. He's confident, down to earth, he knows himself very well, his flaws and strong sides. He's not intimidated by Celeste and her success and her confidence. And he's capable of letting her know if she goes too far. So that's all I have to say about this film. What are your thoughts? To be honest, even after making this analysis, I still get teary-eyed every time I watch this film because I still want Celeste and Jess to be together forever. I mean, it's just why? Just why haven't they made it work? They were so good together, so funny together. Oh, I'm so frustrated with them. I had to make this video to explain to myself that Celeste and Jess are going their separate ways and they're still gonna be fine. <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, leave me a comment, please. Your comments make me so happy. Okay, bye.